Welcome back to Camping Adventures. I'm Jim Graham. A cheap tarp and a cot. Let's get started camping. Most inexpensive way to do that. Before we get started, subscribe, hit the like button. And at the end of the video, leave a comment or join the discussions tab. And any discussions uh, that you want to jump in on, please do. Let's uh, make this interactive. Let's share a lot of information so the new, new campers can... Uh, catch on quick as to what we're talking about. Let's get busy. A cheap tarp set up fairly large one and it's like 12 by 15 kind of an odd size picked it up at Harbor Freight 12 15 maybe 18 bucks somewhere in there I don't remember bought it years ago but I use this poly tarp all the time and as you can hear and I said you know good old poly tarp this thing is working wonders in this configuration I've got it set up as a flying lean-to, monster lean-to, uh, I've got it stretched out here in the back to give you room toward the sleeping quarters. But you have a lot of living room space up front. And of course, you know, fire pit would be out here, which there it is. So you have quite a bit of space, quite a living space right along in here underneath the tarp. But then in the back, you know, you know, for a single setup, I have my cot running this way. But if you're going to have multiple people run them this way versus that, and you can get several cots in there, and everyone's still protected. The only difference between now and cooler weather would be I would uh, create a PVC frame to go around, uh, set up, and go around on both ends, and then crawl, you know, and then tie it across, and then hang a bug net right over it. Military bug nets are anywhere between 12 to 20 bucks. Go online, you can find them. They're brand new issue, uh, brand new issue, but have never been issued. Uh, so they're in great condition and relatively cheap. So be picky, you know, some of them can definitely be overpriced, but uh, 11, 11 to 20 bucks, that's pretty good price range. But I want you to see just the amount of space that you have. And this gets you started. I've used this configuration numerous times. Uh, you know, now I do use my hammock as well. So I'd string my hammock between the trees. And I'd still have space on this side and space on that side. So, uh, you know, then you can readjust the tarp any way you need. Just to make sure you're equally covered. And then give you the, the living space that you want. Uh, generally, I'll have storage in the back and living space in the front. But in this configuration, I'm camped toward the back, and I have all this space toward the front, which allows me to bring chairs in, bring a table under here for food prep, get ready to hit the fire pit to cook your food. So, very inexpensive. Again, the tarp was like 12 to 18 bucks. Don't remember what the cot was. Bought that over 10 years ago. Uh, you know, just be be looking around, find something that suits your needs. Or if you're going with a hammock, you can find hammocks between 50, 60, 70 bucks. Uh, very inexpensive. Make sure you have a bug net. Um, other than that, that's it. And we're camping. I've used this setup several times. Uh, one of the earlier versions of this, I used a tri-fold uh, beach lounger and set up a blue poly tarp. And everybody thought, man, that dude's crazy. I slept like a baby. It was a driving rain. I was off the ground. Uh, it was great, you know. And that's what kind of brought, you know, I've done this numerous times. So, you know, going back into the 80s and 
tarp camping like that and then still do it. So very inexpensive form of camping. You know, all you need is your pots and pans, you know, some pans, you know, and your personal gear and a cheap tarp and a cot and man, you can go anywhere. You can go camping. Thank you for your visit today. I hope I hope this was a helpful uh, how-to to get get started inexpensively. I use this all the time. You know, I mean, I really do. So, if you like it, leave a comment. Love to hear hear your thoughts. Until next time, I'm Jim Grant. You have a wonderful week.